so thank you, Kenneth. Uh, I've known Kenneth for a long time. And um, not only is he an amazing designer, a business leader, he's an amazing pioneer in sustainability. Uh, but for those of us who know Kenneth, he operates as much from the heart as he does, and in his case, the soul, as he does from the head. So uh, for those of you that weren't with us in the 1980s and 90s, you might not know uh, how the legacy that he built as an activist. And for one thing, he was one of the first leaders to put his reputation and stature up against the AIDS epidemic. And uh, he did this against all the stigma, all the silence and ignorance that AIDS wrought. Uh, and recently, you know, he uh, launched and founded the Mental Health Coalition to end the debilitating stigma of mental health and illness. So that was an amazing tribute to Ten Kenneth. He is never afraid to stand up and he doesn't take himself too seriously. He always brings a sense of humor to any cause, along with an remarkable ability to corral, to organize, and to cajole, all for the higher good. So thank you, Kenneth. So uh, it's great to be here tonight. It's great to see so many of you that I've been seeing on those screens, Zoom and WebEx, and certainly uh, Microsoft Teams. So really great that uh, this is my first function out. So it's just great to see so many in the industry show up tonight. And uh, on behalf of everybody and the 90,000 colleagues at Macy's Inc., I'm honored to accept this award, particularly tables 39 and 30. Uh, I also, there you go, this great team of senior leaders that lead this 90,000 strong team. I also just uh, want to acknowledge my husband, Jeff. Uh, we do have the great honor of having a daughter who is a Parsons student and absolutely loves the experience. So uh, I certainly appreciate and respect the creative, the propulsive power of this institution, of its amazing faculty and staff, of the students and the graduates, uh, many of whom I am very confident and, and uh, thankful to say are Macy's colleagues, which you saw some videos of them. So um, as uh, has been already indicated, Macy's and Parsons have a long, wonderful relationship. Uh, one of the most recent chapters is our executive education program. Uh, that, was, that was fashioned. Uh, Kay Unger had a huge role in it. Joe Grauman had a huge role in it. Pulling together the Parsons and the Elise Kretz, who's currently at table 39, was one of the architects of this program. And our merchants love it, to be around all this amazing talent. Uh, and so, and as Liz mentioned, we are very beyond thrilled to announce a newly endowed scholarship uh, to fund critical financial uh, services for the Parsons Scholars Program. So the Macy's Endowed Scholarship Fund for Parsons School of Design will fo foster talents of a diverse pool of New York City public high school students of color from low income backgrounds and support them on their path to becoming the design leaders for tomorrow. So I'd like to thank everyone at Parsons and the new school for this recognition. I'd also like Kenneth like to congratulate Angela, who I've worked with many times in the, in the past, Gabriella, Kirby, Travis, and Carrie. It's an immense honor to share the stage with you. And a special thanks go to all of our Macy's supporters that are here tonight or watching virtually, uh, especially in these unprecedented times to come together to Pier 17 to be here in person. And a real shout out to all of you that, that donated so, uh, so well. So I salute all of you and, ex and express and extend my gratitude and appreciation. Without you, the Macy's scholarship would not have been possible. Uh, huge thanks to everyone tonight supporting Parsons and uh, for supporting those designer icons in training. And these are students that we all know will be leaders in our business. They'll be the generators of fashion buzz in the future. Uh, they will be, we will count on them for their design brilliance for generations to come. So my next comments are really to all the students uh, that are listening or that, that are here tonight. I just want to say thank you for selecting fashion and design as your path for education and future careers. You have chosen a field where creative vision is remaining the lifeblood and where you can make an immediate mark. You know, at, at the start of my career, I was the, I was the unwitting beneficiary of uh, retail by, by trial. And I kind of wandered into Macy's. I had been an English lit and Hellenistic art history major. And I wanted to get a two year kind of assignment. And I thought I was gonna go off and do business school. But um, that was my initial expectation. And that really led to a career in retail. It got into my bloodstream very quickly. And I was amazed that the actions of some, you know, 22-year-old punk who could make a decision on Monday could see that in the sales flash on Tuesday 
And it was all this kind of interlocking variables in retail, the knowledge of a customer, you know, the personality of a salesperson, the perfect lighting and display, and beyond anything, the design brilliance of product that that could all gel beautifully into a single purchase, which could turn and drive a multi-billion dollar business. So that was, um, as, as Kenneth kind of outed me at 38 years, was almost four decades ago. And obviously a lot has changed. But students, your ability to influence business and influence consumer decisions will be infinitely greater than when I was started. And we are certainly gonna need you. You know, what, what the world has experienced over the past 15 months is like nothing anybody has seen in their lifetimes. And there are, we need to acknowledge, there are businesses and centers of education and creativity that have not survived this pandemic. And I know we're gonna to get to the other side of this, but I know that we're also gonna feel that impact for years. So you are coming into, students, this very interesting, uncertain time, but also such a critical and exciting time for retail. And despite all the trauma of the pandemic, I believe that we will not only survive, but we will come out of this a stronger collective. And the moment is now, the no moment is to seize that. And one thing that hasn't changed in my many years at Macy's is that consumers want style. They want help realizing what is uniquely, uniquely individual about them and how they show up in this world. So you're not just getting into the business of fashion, you're getting into the day when you can lead style in this nation. And speaking on behalf of Macy's and Bloomingdale's, we want your personal sense of style, your digital acumen, your passion for sustainability. We need fast trend spotters. We need people who curate innovative products for home and accessories and apparel, and for customers who are such a wide spectrum and getting more, uh, more diverse uh, with each generation. So as I close tonight, I'm thinking about somebody that uh, would love to have been with us. And for those, raise your hand if you knew Arnold Aronson. Arnold Aronson was a, was a legend in our industry. And I would not be connected with Parsons if it had not been for his great leadership and his great push with all of us. He was started out, uh, he was at Bloomingdale's, he was at May, he was at Saks. He spent his, his final 23 years at Kurt Salmon Associates. But he was so passionate about Parsons. And he taught me many things, including to never stop learning, never stop sharing. So on behalf of Arnold, uh, I think we'd, I'd leave you with this. To students, please devote your full personality your attitude, your outlook, to Kenneth, your activism, your talents, to the complete audacity of you, put it to bear. Because when, we come, when you come into this industry, blow the doors off, we're waiting for you, we need you. Everybody have a great night.